guys and welcome back to my channel. I forgot how to do this. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's been so long since I have filmed an intro. I've taken so much time off of YouTube. I think it's been a total of three weeks and it's been awesome. Let me repeat myself. It's been awesome. Yes, I'm in sweatpants. This year I decided just to take off the entire holiday season from social media in general and only get on it when I really wanted to and not film videos not worry about anything really having to do with work, which was incredible. And that's the first holiday season that I've really truly disconnected the way that I did. I still worked on projects and things that like are coming out in the future. But as far as like socials, I just stayed away because my brother and his family, they're about to go back to Cambodia for five months. My stepdad, he just quit his job and moved home permanently and I'm in love. And I wanted to just enjoy the holiday season and just bask in that moment and just be grateful and be present. And I did go to my therapist two to three times a week though the entire time. So I didn't give up on myself, just on my career. Just wanna make sure that we're on the same page. <laughs> no, it was important. I needed to take like a little detox and it felt great. But I am back. I am super excited for today's video. It is all over my socials. People have been asking me constantly where this video is. So if you have not seen the video where I went out and I went drugstore shopping and I spent tons of money on all the recommendations that my subscribers gave to me at Ulta and at Target. I will link that video down below if you have not checked it out yet, but this is basically the sequel to that. I'm going to be doing a full face of drugstore first impressions. As you can clearly see by the title of this video, I'm really excited about it. I keep going back and forth because I don't know which foundation I want to use though. The wet and wild one or the Maybelline because everyone says they're both amazing. And I'm just like, Ugh. I have a feeling I'm gonna go with Maybelline. And I am not going to cheat at all in this video. A lot of times when I do like first impressions of stuff, I'll be like, well, whoops, I'm just gonna cheat a little bit. And like, I'm just gonna use like, you know, my Anastasia brow product. Or like, I'm just gonna use like my Morphe setting spray. Today, I'm really just only going to use drugstore stuff that I purchased in that video. And that's it. You guys know that? That's like a hidden talent of mine. When I was a little girl, I like did that voice and he was like my imaginary friend and his name was Fred. And he talked like this. It's really weird. <laughs> Maybe my like three week break actually made me a little bit crazier. But I'm not kidding. And then my best friend growing up, we were best friends for like 11 years. She could do the exact same voice and she named like her imaginary friend Bob. So it was Bob and Fred. And we were so weird that we, <laughs> We like went out and bought Build-A-Bears and named them Bob and Fred and then they got married. I don't know, I had a gay wedding with teddy bears when I was like 12 years old. And my dad was a pastor and he like officiated the wedding and he married them. Oh my God, I was such a little weirdo. Okay, <clears throat> let me lock it up. <laughs> Hello. Okay. Oh my gosh, my skin is so red right now from trying to pop imaginary pimples. Bitch, you need help. Okay, so for today, I am not going to try a new primer. I'm just gonna try a new foundation, concealer, powder, that whole vibe. My skin is so crazy sensitive that I'm scared to put a primer on today. I do leave in about 24 hours for Las Vegas and then to LA and I just have so many meetings coming up and I do not wanna do something that's gonna just irritate my skin and like break out in hives or anything like that. So I'm just gonna like skip the primer for today and just go to foundation. My skin is really moisturized though, so we'll be good to go. Okay, I'm going to use the Pixi Glow Mist and it says that it has argan oil in it. I'm pretty sure I have used this before and it's beautiful. It's like a great dupe for the Tatcha. I just like ingested, ingested. I'm pretty sure I have used this before and I'm pretty sure it broke me out. We're gonna take a chance. I'm just gonna prep my skin by getting it a little dewy, a little slick, a little slippery, a little moist. <laughs> Oh my God, okay, wow. This tastes disgusting. You know I'll do anything for a glow and anything for dewy skin, but what the? Is that gonna kill me? I'm going to be using the Maybelline Superstay Full Coverage 24 Hour Foundation. I'm gonna be mixing two different shades together right here. I'm using 120 and 128 because this looks like it's gonna be too dark and this looks like it's gonna be a, probably a pinch too light. So I'm just gonna go ahead and make a little cocktail. <laughs> Speaking of cocktail. <laughs> When everyone was like partying and turning up during the holidays, I was literally eating soup, bread, bananas, and rice and drinking nothing but water and Pedialyte because I had gastritis. Yay! That um, pixie mist really did make my skin look very dewy though, so I'm in it, but it tastes like balls. Already, this coverage is bomb. Do you see this? Good place. So just like I thought and expected, this is matte. I prefer something that has a little bit more life than this, if you will. So I'm gonna just spray my face again with this Pixi Glow Mist. 
Now I'm just going to continue to just kind of press that into the skin now that I have that dewy mist all over it, hoping that it will just make it a little bit more glowy, make me look a little bit more healthy, moisturized, and radiant. Now one of the products that I am most excited to try, which is this Makeup Revolution Concealer. It's called the Conceal and Define. I got this one at Ulta. I didn't know like where exactly it was sold, but I was on a hunt to find this because I had no joke, hundreds of people recommend this concealer saying that it was a great dupe for um, Tarte Shape Tape, which as we know is like the number one concealer in cosmetics right now. So I'm really, really excited to try this. I swatched it on the back of my hand and it looked bomb. So I'm going in, I'm doing it people. I'm gonna mix some colors because that first one looked like it was a little too dark for my liking. It doesn't feel like it's super matte and it's also not oily or sticky. Okay. It's not as full coverage as the Tarte Shape Tape. And the only reason I'm comparing the two is just because so many people were saying that it's a great dupe. Already, just application wise, this is the best drugstore concealer that I've ever tried, for sure. I will say that the new Morphe one is incredible. So I'm not gonna compare those two because that's not fair because those haven't even launched yet. But I will say that this is in the same arena. Arena, arena, arena? Yeah, it's an arena. I need to go back to school. And that it Okay, so I have applied a couple layers of concealer. Um, it is definitely not a full coverage concealer, but it is buildable. Obviously, I do not know how it wears, if it's gonna crease, if it's gonna start building up, caking up, I have no clue. But just application, my first impression is it's really good. But I personally want more full coverage because I'm a drag queen at heart. Okay. Now I'm gonna be setting my face and I'm gonna be using a Maybelline powder and this is called the Fit Me Powder and it's the set and smooth and it says it's for normal to dry skin. And then there's this one that's the matte and poreless that's for normal to oily. So of course I'm gonna be using this one since my foundation is so matte right now and I'm complaining about it like a little bitch. I'm just gonna go ahead and use my same beauty sponge and just put it in there like so. Oh wow, it's got good coverage. I'm going to apply a pretty light amount Looking at my concealer right now, it is creasing horribly, just to be honest, in all my little lines under there, which isn't a deal breaker for me because it's been on for probably about three minutes at this point and I have not set it yet with powder. And once I set it with powder, I'm sure it'll be good to go, but my Tarte Shape Tape doesn't do that. It doesn't crease on me like that. I can leave it on for probably 15 minutes before it starts to crease. Ugh, I don't know what to use to set my under eye because I don't want to use the same color. I usually always use a light, like really light powder. I do have this one. This is the Loose Finishing Powder. Again, Maybelline Fit Me, and it's in the shade Fair, and it looks like it's pretty light. All right, we're just gonna do a really small amount of this because I don't know how drying it's going to be, and my under eye could turn into a crepey disaster in seconds. We do not want that. So I'm just gonna blend this all around that area and then just walk away. Just blend and walk away. Okay, so far it looks great. Thank God. I bought these contour palettes right here, again, by Makeup Revolution, the same brand that makes the concealer that I tried. Um, this is the only thing that I have for contour. I didn't even buy a bronzer. I don't know what shade I wanna use though because these look really, really gray and this looks really red. I'm actually gonna start off with this shade right here, even though it's barely darker than my skin. I'm gonna start off with that as kind of like a base and kind of get to know the formula and then build from there. Mm. It's actually working. Like that color is nice. I might just be able to build that color and make it work, make it twerk. I am sorry. Every single time this hand comes up and you see my spray tan, I just, I just put it down. <laughs> it is what it is. It's light, it's natural-esque but I'm sticking with it. I have an appointment when I'm in LA in a week to get more filler put in my nose because I haven't had it done in like a year and a half and it's fading so much. When I was 13 years old, my sister punched me in the face and <laughs> broke my nose. And so it goes like And I would love to get a nose job, but I'm so scared. It's like, that's my biggest fear for some reason, like a rhinoplasty. So I just get filler injected and it lasts like a year and a half or so and then it starts to fade and it fades in random areas and it's fading right now in random areas and I'm like, oh God. So I'm going to get a touch up to make my nose look more better. So in a week, it'll be more better. I'm gonna use that same Maybelline Fit Me powder in the shade Fair to bake my face because that's really all I have. But I think it's gonna work really nicely. Speaking of filler, since I was just talking about my nose, Last time I got my lips touched up, I go like every eight months and get a quarter of a syringe, just like a tiny bit, just like a little bloop, just to like keep it looking good. I had the most insane reaction. 
my lips blew up like balloons. I've never swelled, like swelled, 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 swelled. I've never swelled like that in my entire life. It was so scary. I was terrified. I went back into my doctor the next day and I was like, oh my God, is this normal? Because it was horrifying, you guys. And it was so painful and it just happened out of nowhere. And she said that that can happen. She said that sometimes as you get older, like your body just changes and you can develop like really intense sen like sensitivities. And so apparently now I swell like a bitch. It was insane. So in 2018, I got pores. I'm not kidding. It's like a real thing that I'm very unhappy about. I've always had the smoothest, just cleanest nose. I've never even like had a pore on my nose. It's just always just smooth. And in 2018, I got pores and there's like, just little dots, little pores all over my nose. And even when I apply concealer to my nose and foundation, I have to like take extra time like pressing the product into my nose. And now I have to use like pore filling primers on my stupid beak. It's so frustrating. I'm like, why is this happening? If you guys have products that like really help with just like cleaning out your pores, please let me know. I know there's so many gimmicks out there, but like I wanna know the real ones. Those like vacuums that like clean out the pores. Let me know if one genuinely works because Mama needs it now. For my eyebrows, I'm gonna be using, wow, I'm using a lot of Maybelline today. This is the Maybelline Total Temptation Brow Definer. And it looks pretty promising. This right here is really small. I wish I was a little bit bigger, but who cares? And then this side right here, it's like a little angle guy, like a little Anastasia brow definer. So I have high hopes for this. And you guys know if you've watched me for a long time, I have never had luck with any drugstore brow product. I always just end up throwing it in the trash and I'm like, I can't do it in the middle of my video and I just go back to the Anastasia Brow Definer or Brow Wiz because they've never worked for me. So fingers crossed. I'm actually just gonna use like my regular spoolie because that spoolie is not good. You can also buy spoolies um, at the drugstore for like less than a dollar, just a regular spoolie just to comb through. So the color that I'm using is great. This is shade medium brown. The formula is great. It's easy to blend. It's it's buffing out well. This is definitely the best brow product that I have tried from the drugstore for sure. Okay, the brows are looking pretty snatched, I will not lie. They look pretty good and I am impressed. The formula is not as good as the Anastasia formula, but at the same time, no one said that it had to be. I shouldn't even be comparing the two. Two different products, two different price points. So for eyeshadows, if you guys watched my video, I had a really hard time picking out shadows at the drugstore. And I was just like, what do people use from the drugstore? I feel like nowadays people go to Morphe and buy their palettes because you get so many shadows for such an inexpensive price and they're good quality. So it wasn't that easy. And honestly, it was very like minimal selection for eyeshadow palettes, especially at Target. So the one that you guys were saying on my Instagram live that you guys love so much was Pixie. People were just like raving about the brand Pixie. So I picked this up. I think it looks so promising. It's definitely very pretty. And I love that we have all these mattes and then all these shimmers and then this little middle section of, I guess what you would call blushes, but they're all very shimmery blushes and maybe the, the highlight down there. But yeah, so I'm gonna work out of this palette today, doing like a nice bronzy look, I think. Oh, what's new, bronzy? Groundbreaking. I also got the Revolution, the Makeup Revolution um, eyeshadow palette as well. It has all these really pretty, just like cranberry purpley shades in here as well. So I might just like dip back and forth. We'll see, we're just gonna have fun. I'm gonna start off with this matte shade right here. I'm gonna kind of bounce around with these like matte brown transition colors. So like in here and here and here and kind of go ahead and just put that in my crease to start off with. You know the drill, you know how it goes. Today's not gonna be some revolutionary makeup look. It's gonna be a pretty standard makeup look, but it's more about testing the products, not about the actual look that I'm doing, if you know what I mean. I will say at first swatch, it has a lot of kickback. Let me show you right there. You can see that shadow. It's a lot of kickback in there, which it doesn't bother me that much. As long as I don't have an insane amount of fallout, I don't really mind the kickback in the pan, but I know some people can be, ooh, <laughs> speaking of fallout, hello! I was saying I know that some people can be really picky about stuff like that. So I just wanna tell you guys every little detail that happens along the way. I personally feel like we are so picky about makeup now. Like so picky, it's crazy. We all are, like I'm guilty of it too, but whenever I see like someone dropping a new product, I always look at the comments to see what people have to say. And it's like 80% negativity on everything because people are just like, oh, it's not gonna be this, it's not gonna be that. And I'm like, oh my God. We expect makeup to do what Photoshop does now, I feel like. I think that like 
filters and like Facetune and Photoshop has ruined us as a society. Not to get like too deep or too real, but I really do. And it's like so unhealthy for both men and women because the more women expect that of themselves, the more you're making men expect that of you. I don't know, I'm, I know I'm getting deep. I'm going on a rant. I feel like we expect makeup to now make us look like we have a filter on our face. And if it doesn't, we're like, oh, this is garbage. But no, really, this eyeshadow is not that great. After all of that, I'm like, I want more pixie. This is not good enough. No, really, there's a lot of fallout, a lot of dusting. Um, It's choppy. It's not really showing up that well, which sucks. because I had like high hopes for this palette. I really did. I opened it up and I was like, all right, this is going to slay. You know, this is going to be bomb. I was in it. Like, I am really trying to build this product, you guys, and it is not happening. Oh, God. I don't know if you can see it, but it is choppy. Like, there's like sections that don't even have makeup on it. My God, do you see my under eyes? I just looked at them for the first time. Do you see my under eyes? Do you see like how creased it is? If you can get up in there. I don't know if that's mm, concealer, powder, combination of both, but that's definitely not how I want my under eyes to look. Obviously, I wanna look like I've been face tuned. Duh. Let me try yet another brown and see what happens. With a more dense brush, I might have a little bit more luck. What is happening? This is not the vibe. It's just Fallout Central. Do you see this? It's all the way down on my mustache. Very disappointed in this, I will be real. So I'm going to try Makeup Revolution and hope for a better a better situation. Okay, I'm gonna try like this brown. It's like a brownie with a red undertone. Kind of reminds me of the shade Buns from my original Jaclyn Hill palette with Morphe. Okay, we got some pigment. Okay, Makeup Revolution. Okay, so again, it's Fallout City, but this has more pigment and is sticking to my lid more than the Pixie did. I really pride myself on my blending capabilities. Like if something doesn't blend for me, I'm like, oh, this is a terrible product because I really have mastered blending. So I actually think I wanna make a video, just like a blending 101 video that's just only about that. It might be kind of boring though, but just like all the tricks and things I have picked up along the way. Let me know if you guys would like to see a blending video for me because that's something that I've always thought about, but I'm like, I don't know if people would actually like that. You guys have no idea how badly I wanna dip into my palette right now. It's like rocking back and forth. I'm like, I need salt cream, please God. These shadows are not doing what I want them to do. I'm just gonna keep drinking. Things might get better. Just keep drinking, just keep drinking. What do we do? We drink, drink, drink. Can you see this on camera, like the choppiness? You know what? I'm gonna go with a shimmer. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna grab like this coppery one right up here from the Pixie palette. And let's hope that the shimmers are better. Shimmers are way easier to develop. So I have hope that the shimmers could be a good situation. Okay, so to get pigment from this eyeshadow, your brush needs to be effing soaked. Okay, as I'm trying to apply that with my finger, it's literally removing the matte eyeshadows. Oh my God, ooh, I feel so negative right now. I hate that, I hate it. This is why I don't like doing first impressions. These types like reviews and stuff, cause like I, I hate it when I hate a product. Like I want to like a product. I don't like complaining. I do not like complaining about anything. Eyeshadows are not that hard to develop. I'm just gonna be real. They're not that hard. Now mattes, they can be tricky, they can be, Tricky little bitch, but shimmers, they're not that hard. Like, do you guys see this? My brush is wet. Like I'm trying to get this to look good and it's like just barely anything is being applied. And it looks so pretty in the palette too. Like it's got so much like oomph in the palette. I'm gonna take some of that shimmer on a brush and put it up like in my crease area to try to help the blending of that matte shade because it is just not living its best. Taking the shimmer upwards did kind of help. So, tres Jesus for that. I just found this little Milani situation right here. Super cute. And there's a gold shade in here. I'm gonna bust this bad boy open and try that gold shade. I have hope for Milani. I found this Milani palette right here. And I'm gonna try this gold shade because it looks like it's really pretty. Ooh, yes, okay. We have some pigment. That is what I need in this mold. I really wanna try Pixie Liquid Fairy Lights. They're kind of like a dupe for like the Stila Magnificent Metals, it looks like. Like they're like a glitter eyeshadow like this. I wanna just put it on and see what happens. Hopefully it doesn't separate my eyeshadow, but we're going in with high hopes, always high hopes. It's pretty, it's a little chunky. 
That's okay though. Blend it out a little bit. Amazing. I'm just gonna do a little bit because I don't wanna take it too far and then it like breaks up my eyeshadow and makes it look really terrible. So we're just gonna, baby steps people, baby steps. So now I'm gonna move on to my lower lash line and I'm gonna go back in with the Makeup Revolution eyeshadow palette and take like a little bit of both these shades right here and put that all along my lower lash line, whoops, with a little pencil brush. See, this looks nice. Good pigment and it's blending out well. Gosh, the lower lash line just brings everything together. I do not understand how people do their makeup not applying anything to their lower lash. Like it's so necessary for me. I'm gonna take a little bit of this purple just for fun and just put that right along my lower lash line as well. I bought a ton of the Pixi eyeliners. I may have bought all of them that they had at Target because my friend Jackie said they're amazing. And then when I mentioned that on Instagram stories, so many people were like, they're so good. So I was like, okay. Gonna try these for sure. I'm gonna go in with a purple shade. This is called Deep Plum. And I'm going to put this in my waterline just to like pop that purple even more. Oh yeah, it's got great pigment. I'm gonna put some mascara on. I'm using the L'Oreal Voluminous Lash Paradise. This is one of my favorite mascaras ever. I've used it many, many times. This is the best drugs for mascara ever and that's, that's the situation. I have a couple of different lashes. The two that I'm really looking at is the Ilore Cosmetics Luxe Silk Lashes in the style Radiant. They look really pretty. They almost look like a version of like Iconic Lashes by House of Lashes. So I'm gonna try these, I'll hold them up to my eye and if I'm not feeling it, then I will do a different pair. Oh, these are pretty, okay. I'm gonna do these. All right, I'm gonna use another Pixie liner. This is just the black shade and I'm going to put this right on. Oh, wow, that is black and creamy, wow. This is amazing. I'm gonna put this right here on the upper lash line. It makes such a difference when you apply false lashes. Like this is a step that I cannot skip. If I put on false lashes, I have to do this. It looks creepy. It looks like it's gonna hurt your eyes. It doesn't. At first you're gonna blink a lot and be like, oh God, what's happening? But it makes your lashes look so much more natural. Like they're actually growing from your eyes and not like they're just stick ons. Like I don't know if you can tell the difference between this eye and this eye now. Maybe if you get like a closer look but it's a difference how this just looks together and this, there's like separation. It's real. Damn, I am so impressed. This eyeliner is black as can be and so creamy and pigmented. Let's go ahead and wipe off of this powder and see how it did with the baking over the last 30 minutes. Damn, that's a bomb job. Yo, do you see how like pigmented this powder is right here, like me trying to viciously wipe it off, it's on there, which is awesome. My makeup will not move at all. It's like great insurance. Okay, well I didn't really buy much blush while I was out shopping. It was kind of one of those products that slipped my mind. I did get this Wet n Wild color icon, but after looking at it closer, it's got like a lot of like gold sparkles and I'm like, oof. I'm gonna try it. You know what? This is what we're doing. We're trying. We're doing first impressions and I'm gonna get over myself and just do it. Oh God. I can tell. I'm not gonna like it. I can tell. I can tell. I can tell. It's not as bad as I thought. Really, it's not. I would like more pigment. I'm using a generous amount. Hold on. I'm gonna use some Milani Luminoso blush. This used to be one of my favorite blushes ever. It's so good. It's like my favorite blush I've ever tried from the drugstore and I'm gonna use a little bit of it for old time sakes because I know that it's beautiful. I love the undertone. It's such a gorgeous, corally, pinky peachy. Oh, I love it. <laughs> All right, you guys, I have been waiting to try this since I bought it. I've only swatched it once. You can see my little swipe marks. I swatched it once on the back of my hand. It looks so good. Every time I've done my makeup, I'm like, oh, I wanna try it so bad, but I haven't. I waited to try it on camera. So many people have said that this is such an incredible highlight that it's like so wet and intense and beaming and bright and I am in it. I cannot wait. It is by Pixie and it is called Delicate Dew. I'm so excited right now. Oh my God. I feel like a little kid. I'm going to mix the two shades together. This one right here looks like it's gonna be really light. So the texture feels like an Anastasia, like so Hollywood texture, like that really like MAC extra dimension skin finish that's just like, you get it, you get it. Okay, moment of truth. 
This is very, very pretty. This is like, this is kind of like the wet and wild highlight. It's similar to it, definitely. This is, I would say, the second best drugstore highlight next to the wet and wild. I'm gonna put some like basically everywhere because this foundation is so matte. I'm like, I could use it. I'm going to be using the Maybelline lipstick in the shade Nude Lust. You know that I am obsessed with their shade Baddest Beige. Oh my God, so good. They actually sent me a box of like 20 of them and it was so sweet. I was like, I will probably go through all of them in 2019 because I love that color. So Nude Lust is similar but different. So I wanna try this one as well. I love, I love. It's like more of a sheer, mm, I love this color. I feel like this would be like a good overlay lipstick. Like I want like a base and then I wanna put that over top. Let me try this. This is again Maybelline and this is the shade Purely Nude. Oh, that's nude, but I love it. So I'm combining Purely Nude and Nude Lust together because I'm a high maintenance and that's just life. I'm going to go in with a Pixi lip gloss in the shade Petal Ice. It's like totally clear with like the tiniest amount of like a pink tint. And just kind of put that on top just to give it like a really glossy kind of plump look. That lip gloss has like a, like a tingly, not, not tingly, but like a cooling sensation, which I love. All right, I'm gonna spray my face one more time with the Pixi Glow Mist. So this is the finished look right here. And overall, I think that my makeup looks really good. I do wanna point out the things that were like the most impressive and the things that were the most disappointing. Number one, the most disappointing thing overall was the eyeshadows in general. I'm not trying to be bitchy about it. Like I really came into this excited and looking forward to trying new things. I now understand why drugstore eyeshadows aren't like a really popular thing. Now there's a lot of affordable brands out there that sell eyeshadows that people love and I hear them talk about. But as far as like drugstore eyeshadows, I don't really hear that many things. And now I know why, because they were just so patchy, so dry, so much fallout, so much kickback, so like just lacked so much pigment, like even just using so much amount of just like oil and Fix Plus trying to get like the shimmers to stick, it was just a mess. But I will say this product right here, the Pixi Liquid Fairy Lights, which is the glitter that I put on my eyes, it looks really beautiful. It did not break up my eyeshadow at all. It's a great dupe for the Steel of Magnificent Metals. So I'm really glad that I tried this. I did use the shade Sunray, but I also bought the shade Bare Brilliance as well, which is bronzier and Sunray is more gold. So these are really beautiful and I definitely feel like it transformed the eyeshadow because it was looking a little weak and needed help. This Makeup Revolution Contour Palette was great. It blended out so easy, so smooth, as you can see on my skin. Like, it was really a beautiful formula. It wasn't too pigmented, which I actually have found that a lot of contour and bronzer shades from the drugstore kind of lack pigment, but it's okay because you can build it and get it to where you want it to be. But I definitely had to work at building the color, but the actual product was, it was really smooth and really blendable. I think that these lashes are so pretty. They honestly are such a great dupe for the House of Lashes Iconic Light. They look really, really similar to those, which I love. And these again are the Eye Lore Luxe Silk Radiant silk effect lashes right here. So I really do like these. The black pencil liner by Pixi was the thing that shocked me the absolute most. It is so creamy and so black and so pigmented. So I would say this is a great dupe for Arden CN, which is my favorite personal black liner. It's black as coal. It's amazing. This is definitely a dupe. The only thing is I did have to sharpen it after just doing it on one eye because it is so creamy that it just immediately just like went down and ran away. So you're probably gonna run through it pretty quickly but it is really, really good. Both the Maybelline Fit Me Press Powder and Loose Powder were amazing. I was shook by how well the loose powder baked my face. Like it was so intense and such great coverage and it looks so natural now that I dust it away. And my under eye, honestly, you guys, the actual powder, like I can tell the difference. I know. The actual powder looks great. The concealer does not which I'm shocked about because I had so many people tell me how good that concealer was and I was so excited to try it. I had to apply like three layers of it to get it to even be like where I wanted it to be. And then I could see through it still. As I was like applying my powder, I was like, I can still see through this. And then I got so many creasing and like line situations underneath my eyes. So not, not in that sadly, but the powders were both 
awesome. And the face powder looks so good, so natural and so smooth on my face. Like this is a powder that I would actually genuinely use. And then last but not least, these two lipsticks, of course. I love Maybelline lipsticks. They're my favorite lipsticks from the drugstore. I also like L'Oreal lipsticks, but L'Oreal scent, their fragrance in their lip is really strong. These are not as strong. Um, the shade Purely Nude, I would have to say it was my favorite because it's just like really pigmented, really full coverage and it's a great nude with like a little bit of a pinky undertone, but it's not a baby pink. And then the other one of course was Nude Lust and this one is way more sheer and like daytime friendly and has like a high shine to it, which is really beautiful as well. The highlight was beautiful, but I'm still going to crown the Wet n Wild highlight as the number one from the drugstore. This would come in second, a close second. It is really pretty, but I don't think it's as pretty personally as the Wet n Wild, but it is bomb. Ugh, well, no, at the same time, like, it is good. That is it, you guys. I hope that you enjoyed this drugstore first impressions. I know that there were some moments in the video where I was kind of negative and kind of like fussy and pissy about some products not working out the way I wanted it to, but that was my real reaction and my real first impressions. I hope that you enjoyed. If you did, please let me know in the comments. Please give this video a thumbs up so I know what you guys wanna see so I can continue to make content that you guys are actually interested in because I'm just kinda like winging it. I'm like, hopefully they like this. <laughs> so that's it, you guys. I love you so much. Thank you for watching and I will see you in my next one. Bye.